The universe is infinite, which means we are given countless opportunities to discover new things, explore what lies among us, and delve deeper into the questions that leave us puzzled. There is plenty out there for astronomers to research, from exoplanets and asteroids to phenomena that should not work quite the way that they do. The research taking place has the potential to be revolutionary. So, while looking at celestial objects might not be as exciting as meeting an alien race, there are plenty of astronomical wonders taking place each day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three astronomical discoveries. Giant arc stretching 3.3 billion light-years across the cosmos shouldn't exist. We have all heard of galaxies, no, not the chocolate, but the systems of stars we see throughout the universe. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is one of an estimated 2 million galaxies out there in the universe. These star systems, mixed with some gas and dust, are held together through a gravitational pull, and with so many galaxies out there, there are plenty of spaces to investigate. In 2021, however, a new galactic discovery was made. Astronomers observed a huge arch-shaped curve up in space, covering a staggering 3.3 billion light-years. This seems to be formed of several galaxies and has been dubbed one of the largest known structures in the universe. This phenomenal shape has been called the giant arc and contains a lot more than the odd galaxy here and there. The giant arc is composed of many, many galaxies, galactic clusters which are groups of galaxies and of course an abundance of gas and dust. To put this into perspective, the sheer size of the giant arc as 3.3 billion light-years is, of course, a highly significant amount, this forms about one-fifteenth of the observable universe, meaning when we look out into the universe, about 6.6% of what can be seen is solely this curve of galaxies. Alexia Lopez, a doctoral candidate in cosmology at the University of Central Lancashire in the United Kingdom, described the discovery as serendipitous. Lopez was working on research and had been forming maps of objects in the night sky using the light from 120,000 quasars to do so. These are the bright cores of galaxies, often from supermassive black holes emitting a great deal of energy. The light from these galaxies then moves through matter that falls on the path in between us and said quasars. As the light moves, different elements absorb the light, leaving a discernible path that can show a number of important clues. Lopez was particularly interested in looking at the patterns of magnesium, as she tracked the position of the material in the sky, alongside the distance between the relevant gas and dust. As this research was underway and the cosmic maps were beginning to form, a rather standout structure began to appear. Lopez described the way quasars act as like spotlights in a dark room, illuminating this intervening matter and it seems as though these spotlights have certainly singled out something interesting. Roger Close, Lopez's doctoral advisor at the University of Central Lancashire, was of course immediately interested, suggesting further tests to ensure it was not simply a trick of the light or an unusual fluke in the data. So, following two different statistical tests that were completed, the research team concluded the giant arc is in fact a reality with there being less than a 0.0003% probability that this span of cosmic matter did not exist. The astronomers then made an appearance at the 2021 virtual meeting of the American Astronomical Society on June 7th. What makes this discovery so interesting is that it challenges so many underlying ideas we have held about the universe. A uniform expectation we have held about the universe is that even in the largest span across the whole universe, all astronomical matter will be distributed somewhat evenly throughout space. This concept is referred to as the cosmological principle. Now, this huge cosmic landmark of sorts is challenging this theory, making waves in accepted ideas as a fifteenth of the observable universe seems to sit within one structure. Of course, there have been other large structures that have had people question the cosmological principle before the giant arc though it is important to remember that the giant arc is larger than the Sloan Great Wall and the South Pole Wall, both of which are known as huge cosmic features. Straying from the cosmological principle means reimagining the standard model of the universe. 
The theories, principles and ideas that underpin our understanding of the universe have all been modelled by this cosmological principle. For this to be proved wrong is to change our understanding of so many theories down to adapting how we conceptualise gravity working on larger scales. When speaking on this matter, Lopez said, if we're finding it not to be true, maybe we need to start looking at a different set of rules. There are some truly spectacular things out there in our universe, some sat just out of view, and some taking up masses upon masses of space. But when we find something that challenges everything that we think we know, that is when truly revolutionary research comes about. Twenty sixteen H O three. Asteroids are a thrilling part of the masterpiece that is space. They allow the gorgeous meteor showers we sit back and watch, and they, perhaps most famously, wiped out the dinosaurs. We are going to take a look at one particular asteroid, provisionally called twenty sixteen H O three, now known as four six nine two one nine Kamoalewa. This is the smallest, closest, and most stable quasi satellite of Earth. Quasi-satellites are objects that take a specific orbital pattern. They are typically unstable and do not have as regular and steady of an orbit as a regular satellite, but still follow the planet's orbital period. This asteroid is expected to keep pace with Earth's orbit for hundreds of years still. While its orbital period matches our 365 days, it does spend half this time closer to the Sun than Earth does and then the other half further away. So, the asteroid does not match the same pace as the Earth all year long, but rather races ahead when closer to the Sun and then falls back in line later on in the year. Despite this being Earth's most stable quasi-satellite, there is plenty we do not yet know. For example, since its discovery in 2016, its size remains unconfirmed. It will be interesting to see how the orbital patterns of 469219 Kamoalewa change over the course of centuries, though of course the researchers working on this information today can only help to facilitate the discoveries for future scientists not living to see the outcome themselves. Astronomers spot two puffy mini-Neptune exoplanets. As of February 2022, Astronomers believe they may have uncovered two exoplanets that look somewhat familiar to a planet we already know of. Astronomers have observed two Neptune-like exoplanets that seem to be losing their atmospheres. Experts have affectionately nicknamed these exoplanets miniature Neptunes due to their large rocky cores coated in thick layers of gas, very similar in structure to the planet in our very own solar system. The radiation from stars close to these little exoplanets could be causing quite some damage, possibly stripping away their distinctive puffy atmospheres in a fashion that some astronomers have described as steam escaping from a pot of boiling water. This loss of hot gas has led to some to describe the exoplanet duo as looking a lot like a super-Earth. The difference between a super-Earth and a mini-Neptune is largely one of size. Super-Earths can be up to 1.7 times the size of our planet Earth with mini-Neptunes typically falling in the size bracket of two to four times larger than Earth. Of course, this is quite a drop in size for these exoplanets. Astronomers leading the study from the California Institute of Technology used the Keck Observatory to keep close eyes on and investigate the planets. Their findings seem to point to the atmospheric gas escaping the planets, resulting in their transition towards super-Earth status. This is not the first time researchers have speculated that mini-Neptune planets have atmospheres that evaporated, though this is the first time this phenomenon has been observed. What is a little more unexpected, however, is where the gas went after it was released. If the behaviour observed had followed anticipated patterns, then the gas would flow away from the stars nearby, falling in line with the models we have set out in the past. Though this is not what happened. Instead, the gas began to move towards the nearby star. There is still plenty to learn, plenty to investigate, and plenty to unravel. One astronomer working on the study said, As exoplanet scientists, we've learned to expect the unexpected. As work continues to challenge and develop our understanding, we must be prepared to have our current thinking turned on its head. 
there are tons of unexplored possibilities just waiting to be found, uncovered, and explored out there in space. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.